Hi, my name is Joshua Adegun. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer. Welcome to my YouTube channel, AG Deck House. On today's um, agenda, I will show you how to ensure that a user um, is required to re-register for more multi-factor authentication, MFA. Right? Sometimes you you have some users that might want to change their numbers or the users change their numbers and then um, whenever you try to sign into their Microsoft 365, the OTP one-time password is sent to the previous number, right? So all you need to do in that case is to ensure that um, you, you have the user re-register for MFA. So how would you do that? I'm going to show you quickly on how to do that. Um, first, I'll share my screen. And then, um, as you can see, I'm here in my um, admin portal, right, for my test or in, with my test account, right? So all I need to do, since I'm signed in here, all I need to do is open a new tab and then type portal.azure.com, right? So you remember, or if you don't know, Microsoft is moving away from the, from the, usual portal.azure.com to Microsoft Entra, right? So try to familiarize yourself with Microsoft Entra. And I'm also going to do a video on Microsoft Entra, right? So when you get to this page, because you're signed in, as you can see the account here, all you need to do is click view under this uh, manage Azure Active Directory. And I click on this, Next thing I need to do is click on users. So for the affected user, right? You click on the affected user. Let's say Adele is the affected user. And then I come here to authentication methods. And then I click on require register my multi-factor authentication. I click on okay. And then when next this user tries to sign in, this user is required to re-register for MFA. Right? So it's as simple as that, right? Um, let me try to sign in with Adele and see so that um, you can see um, this quickly. So I'll come here and then Adele. I copy Adele's email here, and then let me reset the password. I don't require this. Okay. Okay, let's see. Okay, it's too weak. So it's not allowing me go from here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so let me copy the password also. Adele, okay. Let me just copy the password. Change this later and then click on reset password. All right. So got it. And then I come here in private, new in private, I come to office. Boom. Uh, press enter. I press here, sign in. And then I paste the password here. So I'm doing this so that I don't forget the password. So let me um, come back here and then paste Adele's email. Right? Sign with this, so action required, right? 
and then um, I click on next. So you have 14 days until this is required. Click on next. And then um, this should require me to um, sign in to, to register for my MFA rather. So let's see. Yeah, so um, it's asking me to get a Microsoft Authenticator app or I can say I want to use a different Authenticator app and then select to use a different Authenticator app and then click on next. And then, um, yeah, basically you see this um, QR code here and then you proceed with um, with um, scan the UR, um, QR code with the Authenticator app you have, right? So thank you very much for listening to me. Please subscribe to my channel, um, like the video, share the video with your colleagues, and then turn on your notification button so that you get notified on every new video I drop. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.